and students, welcome again to another exciting math lesson for grade 10 mathematics. And I'm your teacher Darwin and I'll be your guide for today's lesson. Okay students, let's have a review on our lesson about the mean, median, and mode. Given a standard deck of cards, let's draw seven random cards. Okay, students, after drawing seven random cards in a standard deck of cards, and remember, students, that we need to arrange those cards from least to greatest. Okay, students, let's start by finding what is the mean. Okay, so on that given seven cards, let's find the sum. Okay, so the total of those seven cards is 31. And to get the mean, we need to divide 31 by the number of cards, which is equal to 7. So 31 divided by 7, that is equal to 4.43. So the mean of those seven cards is equal to 4.43. Okay, students, so from uh, those seven cards, so we need to flip over the cards on opposite ends until we reach the middle. So let's start. Okay, so the middle card is five of hearts. So that means our median is Five. Okay, students, finally, let's move via mode. So the mode is the most frequently appearing number on the given cards. So what do you think? So the mode of those cards is 5. Okay, students, so that is our review on the measures of central tendency. And before we proceed with our topic for today, let's have first an activity. This is the guess the word. Given uh, shuffle letters, we need to guess what is the word. So we have three shuffle words on the screen and try to guess what are those words. Okay, students, very good. So the first word is quartiles. Second is data. And finally, the third one is ungroup. Okay, so basing from that activity, what do you think is our next lesson? Okay, so very good. That is the quartiles of ungroup data using the Mendenhall and Sinsich method. And students, before we proceed with our lesson, make sure that you have with you your module and your pen and paper. And for our learning objectives, we need to calculate the specified measure of position of the given data. Similarly, quartiles of a group data using the Mendenhall and Sinchich method. Okay, students, let's start by defining what is a quartile. So quartiles are the scores which divides the data into four equal parts. 25% of the distribution are below the first quartile. 50% are below the second quartile. And 75% are below the upper quartile. Remember that in this quartile, we have four equal parts. Okay, let's move on now with Mendenhall and Sunsich method. Using statistics for engineering and the sciences, 
we have defined different method of finding quartan values. So, this method has a formula of Q sub K is equal to K over 4 times the quantity of N plus 1. Wherein, U sub K is the position of the K quartile. And K is the N quartile when N is equal to 1, 2, and 3. And N is the number of elements in the given set of data. And by using the Mendenhall and Sinsich method, we came up with these formulas. So for the lower quartile, or the Q sub 1, we have 1 fourth times the quantity of N plus 1. Wherein, the value of K there is 1 for the lower quartile. Next, we have the middle quartile or the Q sub 2. So that is equal to 2 over 4 times the quantity of N plus 1. And finally, for the upper quartile or the Q sub 3, that is equal to 3 over 4 times the quantity of N plus 1. So, take note of those three formulas. Okay? In continuation with the Mendenhall and Simpsons method, we have steps in solving the quartiles of a new data. So, the first one is we need to arrange the data in assembly order. Second, we need to calculate the position and the values of Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3 or the lower quartile, the middle quartile, and the upper quartile. Okay, so that's for you to gain more knowledge on using the Mendenhall and Simsich method. Let's have an example. Sample 1 if n is odd or the number of data is odd. Below are the scores of 15 students of grade 10 5 in a 50 item summative test. Find the lower and the upper quartile. So, the final question we need to find the lower and the upper quartile, which means we are only finding for the Q sub 1 and the Q sub. Okay, so. Given this data, 23, 36, 19, 20, 47, 6, 14, 35, 41, 28, 32, 50, 11, 25, and 44. Okay, students, let's proceed now with our solution. And from that given data, if we count the number of data, we will have 15. Okay, so let's proceed with our steps in solving for the quartile of ungrouped data. First, we need to arrange this course in ascending order. So, given that random scores of students, we need to arrange that. So, the arrangement 6, 11, 14, 19, 20, 23, 25, 28, 32, 35, 36, 41, 44, 47, and 50. So, this is the arrangement in ascending order. Let's proceed with our step 2. We need to calculate the position and the value of Q sub 1 or the first quartile. So, using the formula for the first quartile, we have Q sub 1 is equal to 1 fourth times the quantity of n plus 1. Remember that our n is equal to 15. Using that value of n as 15, we need to substitute that in the given formula. So q sub 1 is equal to 1 fourth times the quantity of 15 plus 1. And by simplifying that, we will have 1 fourth times 16 
and that is equal to 4 or the fourth in the given data. Remember that using that formula, we are finding the position. So if we get 4, that means we have the first quartile at the fourth position in the given data or in the arranged data. So the fourth in the given data is 90. So our first quartile is at the score of 90. Okay, students, let's proceed in solving for the third quartile or the upper quartile of the given data. So again, this are the arrangement. And let's proceed with step 2 on calculating the position and the value of Q sub 3. Okay, so our formula for the upper quartile or Q sub 3 that is equal to 3 fourth times the quantity of N plus 1. Using that formula and substituting N is equal to 15, we'll have Q sub 3 is equal to 3 over 4 times 15 plus 1 and that is equal to 3 4 times 16 simplifying that we will have 48 over 4 and 48 over 4 that is equal to 12 or the 12 score is our upper part time or the u sub 3 so our final answer for this u sub 3 that is equal to 41 or the upper quartile is in a score of 41 okay students remember this part on rounding off if you have a 0 0.5 decimal on your first quartile and third quartile you need to round up on the first quartile and round down on the third quartile and the rest remember the rule on rounding and that's your knowledge or understanding on our lesson for today. I'll be giving you a practice exercise. So, on this exercise, we need to find the Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3 given the following scores in mathematics activity using Mendenhall and Sinchich method. So, the data are 9, 7, 14, 10, 8, 12, 15, 6, 9, 8, 6, and 7. And that is your practice exercise for today. And for your assignment students, you need to write this in a one full sheet of paper and answer this problem. Find the lower and the upper quartile of the given set of data. 1, 3, 37, 7, 21, 16, 27, and 31. And I hope that you learn a lot on using the Mendenhall and Sinchich method. And again, students, thank you for watching this lesson on Grade 10 Mathematics. See you again for another lesson on Mathematics.